continuing from where we left Ozymandias, part 2 of the poem by P. B. Shelley. Now so far we have read that the poet P. B. Shelley, he meets a traveler from the antique land of Egypt. He has gone there on a travel and he recollects his travelogue to the poet. Through him the poet comes to know that he sees the statue of the ruler of Egypt, the great king Rameses. Now he was a great perho of the 19th dynasty of ancient Egypt. His name was Ozymandias. So far we have read that the remains of the statue stood mounted on a stone based pedestal. The rest of the body was lying sunk in the sand which shows that nothing is perennial in this physical world. People are not remembered for their wrong deeds. People are always loved and remembered for their righteous actions, for their righteous deeds. King Rameses or Ozymandias thought himself to be great. He had a lot of pride in him. He was proudy. He was arrogant. He believed he was supreme. And that was the reason he made his statues so that he can be remembered after his death. But that doesn't happen. People have forgotten him. His statue is lying somewhere in the middle of the desert. And that too in a rack. Now, moving further in the poem, the poet says, And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Now, this shows the arrogancy of the king. He thought himself to be the extremely powerful ruler of his time. He was proud in every sense, which can be reflected from these lines. My name is Ozymandias and I am king of kings. That means I am superior to all the kings. Pedestal. Pedestal is the platform on which the statue was raised. On the base it was written, my name is, my over here has been referred to Ozymandias. That is King Rameses. King Rameses. Now my name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. King Rameses, he thought to be supremely powerful. The poet further adds, Look upon my works, ye mighty and despair. Again, the following line reflects the arrogancy of the king when he further adds, Look upon my works. My has been used for King Rameses or Ozymandias. So, look upon my works, ye mighty. He addresses all the powerful rulers, powerful kings, powerful people of his time. And then what he says? and despair. That means feel sad. Feel sad in the sense because King Ozymandias thought himself superior to all the other kings because he thought he has done more than the other people, other rulers or other kings of his time. Now the poet further says, nothing beside remains round and Decay of that colossal rack, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Now the poet further adds that nothing beside remains beside. Beside means by the side. That means nothing could be seen, nothing could be perceived of the colossal rack near the statue, near the broken statue or near the fallen statue of King Ozymandias. Nothing could be seen. Round and decay of that colossal rack. That means of that huge destruction. Colossal wreck is huge destruction. 
so round about that huge destruction nothing could be seen and what else was there boundless boundless means which cannot be measured bare and lone and level sands stretch far away that means near that colossal rock far off suppose this is the colossal rock this is the statue broken statue this is the pedestal these are the foots the inscription are written over here that i am Ozim and Das, King of Kings. This is the Vice Age. These are the legs. Pedestal. Now, round about, nothing could be seen. For far off. Only things that are, that could be perceived or that could be seen as bare sand, which stretches far away. This shows once the great mighty King Ozim and Das whom all feared, whom all respected due to fear and who thought he would be immortal even after his death. But the sad part is, after his death, people completely shunned him. People completely forgot him. His statue is now lying somewhere in the middle of a desert where for long and long distance only sands is stretched. Only sand is there. And there is no creature or no construction, no building, nothing could be seen. The poem gives us a very strong message and that is not to be proud of our achievements. One should be very humble, one should be very simple and one should always think whatever he does is due to the grace of the Almighty God. The man is just an instrument. The entire things are done because of the grace of the God. He is just a medium. If a human being will do wrong deeds and then he thinks that he will be remembered for long, he thinks wrong. Only those individuals are remembered who have done something concrete, something worthwhile in their lives, who have helped people, who have helped humanity in general they are always loved and remembered they are always respected in case of king ozimandias he was not that great though he considered himself himself to be great but in true sense he was not great that's why people completely forgot him i hope you enjoyed the poem thank you